हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन एंड दिस माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ऑनलाइन फॉर नेचर स्टोर एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव डेवलप्ड इन जावा जेएसपी एंड माय एसक्वेल एंड ऑन टॉम कैट इट सर्वर आई एम रनिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट बट इफ यू हैव द नेटबिन्स और द एक्लिप्स आईडी देन यू कैन आल्सो कॉन्फिगर दिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑन नेटबिन्स और एक्लिप्स आईडी सो द वर्जन ऑफ जावा आई एम यूजिंग इज द जेडीके वर्जन 1.8 एंड द जीआरई वर्जन 1.8 Tomcat version is eight. So for running this project on NetBeans and Netflix, you must have the Tomcat version eight. So this is the server side technology and the servers. For front end, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and many of the jQuery library for giving some good effects, such like such as uh, adding uh, form validations and the date integration of date plugins. I am using the jQuery. Okay, so. Uh, let's start with the functionality of this project. The project title is Online Furniture Store, and this is a mini project, not major project. Means it has only and only customer functionality. That is a single user role based project. There is no admin role in this project. Means admin can't perform anything in this project. There is no procedure for login inside it. It has only and only customer functionality, where customer will be able to see the products, filter out the products. Add the product into the cart and make the payment and see it. See his all of the order uh, uh, order history. Okay, so let's start with the functionality. So this is the home page of the project and the uh, these products which you are seeing on the home page. It's coming from the database directly. So currently there are twelve products available in the database. But if you want to add more product, then you can add directly into the database. But there is no admin panel for adding this product into the database. But if you want that uh, admin panel also, then there is a project also on the website. You can look into it. <laughs> okay. So this and if you want to see the details of any product, just click on the product. You will be able to see the details of that product. All right. So this is the home page. This is the about the section. So this is the totally static page. And if you want to change the uh, text of this content, then you can. Uh, change it directly in from the HTML page. This page is not trending from the database. This is the all furniture section again. This is the totally dynamic page, and all the products are coming from the database. And if you want to filter out the product, then you can filter out the product from here, <coughs> right? Then you can see products are getting filtered out when you click on the link, right? Right. So this is the sort by category. Means there are three. Uh, there are uh, these are the categories which we have added to the database. One more thing I want to say. So these categories are rendering from the database. So if you want to add more category, then you will be able to find out the more categories here, right? And it will be displayed here. So this this menu and this menu section is also dynamic. So you can filter out the uh, details from here also. This is the registration. So if the customer doesn't have the user ID and password, means login credential, then customer can register on this website, and after that he will get the user ID and password. This is the login page, and uh, uh, from where customer will be able to log in, and this is the contact us page, from where customer will be able to contact to the uh, admin. But this is also a static page. I am not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere. Okay, so let's start and going to purchase some of the product. So this is the furniture, and I'm adding it into the cart. So currently there are three items into the cart, and if you want to delete any item, then you can delete it also. So there is no items into the cart, and if you want to add, then you can see there is one item into the cart, right? This one. So I have added two products, and total is seventeen hundred. And once you click on the Continue shopping, then you will be redirected into the list product page, and you can also add more product into it. Right? So this is so currently there are three products added into the database. I'm sorry, into the cart. And if you click on the proceed to checkout, so for making the payment, you must have the login uh, credentials because without that, you will not be able to make the payment. So this is the credential, and I am logging inside it, right? And entering the some garbage data here. So, but you can add your proper information here and proceed to payment. So, this is the dummy payment gateway. After adding your shipping address, you will get the payment page, right? And this is a dummy payment gateway page, and none of the real transaction will be done. So, this is only a dummy page, and you can add put your credit card details here. Okay. So, once you click on the make payment.
then your order will be saved also no external communication will be done and none of the credit card information will be stored into the database right just click on the make payment and after it you can see your payment has been made and your order number is set in so you can see there are three products available in your cart and the total amount you paid is 2900 rupees <coughs> okay so this is about uh, this is the full process flow for the online furniture shop also this is the dashboard of the customer also one more thing i want to uh, update you so this above menu is totally dynamic menu and it change according to the rule so if i log out from it then you can change the above menu has been changed if i log in inside the menu then the above menu has been changed then you can see right so in there is a dashboard so this is the dashboard of the customer and customer can see the my orders my account shop and shopping so this is the dashboard this is the my order section from where a customer will be able to see all of the past history and if customer clicks on the view items then he will be able to see all of the details of the order this is the my account section from where customer will be able to update his account details so these are the account details and customer will be able to update the account details from here and this is the contact us section from where uh, customer can uh, enter his information and queries and submit it and the logout so this is all about the project and already i have told you uh, this is the mini project and with the customer role functionality and the technology i am using in java gsp and mysql if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project and i will make this project better and better and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos updates on the latest project technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much